Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's make some wax paper transfers. This is kind of a hot topic on my channel right now and it may be a little bit confusing how to do it, um, but I know a lot of people like to use rub-ons on their journals and so this is one um, almost free way to do that and it will transfer images to paper, to fabric, to wood, anything um, that you're really looking to transfer an image to. So let's get started. I'm going to just run through some of the things that I'm going to use today. I did test this out because my printer is very touchy and it doesn't like to print on everything. <laughs> it did work last night so we're going to hope for the best today. So the first thing that you'll need is obviously some wax paper. Um, this is the kind that I'm using. This certainly doesn't have to be the kind you're using. The next thing you'll need is a sharpie of some kind to actually draw on the wax paper. You're going to want um, something to rub the image on with. So I just happen to have a bone folder, folder laying around. You could use a credit card or, or something flat um, that will give you a nice clean transfer. Another thing that you will need is some paper that you actually load into your printer that will fit. And you are going to use this to create a piece of wax paper so it will fit in your printer. Today I'm going to try out something new that I haven't tried yet with these. Uh, so we're going to try this six different ways. <laughs> and the first thing that I have here is some canvas. Uh, this is just cotton. It's just like very basic threaded cotton. That's essentially all it is. So we're going to try that. And we're also going to try another type of fabric. This is muslin. And this is a little bit, um, it's not quite as heavy as this one, but they're both cotton. So I would, I would probably stick with the cotton. Some other things that I'm going to try to do a rub on with are um, just this little folder here and then we're going to try a craft envelope and then we'll try a regular envelope. This one's just really pretty so if this works out I'll be really happy. And then we're also going to try it on a glassine bag. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. I don't know if it'll show up at all. So we're going to learn together. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, you know what? By the way, you're going to need some scissors too. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I've already gone ahead and done, because I don't want to waste too much of your time, is I have already traced around this paper onto my wax paper. So you see my line there? All I'm going to do right now is cut this out, and we will be back to load it in the printer and hope it works. Okay, so here we go. We have it all cut out to the best of our ability, and it should match up to about the same size. If it's a little off, it's okay. As long as it will feed through your printer, then we're good. Um, so I was asked which side of the wax paper to do it on, and yesterday I tried it on both sides. And I am here to tell you that it works either way. So um, I'm actually going to load it in backwards. Okay, so the way it comes off the roll is it's, you know, it's rolled up and you pull it off the roll like this, what I'm going to do is flip it and put it in the printer that way because it likes to roll up on me as it's feeding through the printer. So um, this just kind of helps it feed through better. So I'm going to do it this way, the opposite way that it is rolling. As I created a little image that I wanted to print. Um, mine are, are relatively small. I've actually tried this is where I tried it out. And I'm going to show you from my screen now how I prepared the image to be rubbed on. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into this Photoshop Express app. This is a free app on Android. I'm not sure about iPhone, um, but you can look for just a free photo editing app. We're going to click on the photo that we want to change and we're going to go over to the rotate. Um, all photo editors have some sort of rotate option and this one you can actually flip horizontally. So we're going to flip it so that it's backwards and then we're going to save it to the gallery. Um, then you can go into your gallery, you'll see your image there. 
And then from this point, you can either print directly from your phone or share it to your computer. So once you have your image ready, um, you could do this on a computer if you wanted to. I did it on my phone because it's easier. Maybe doing it on a computer might be easier for you. So, so try it either way. Um, but once you have your image ready, what you're going to want to do is share it to, I, I typically share mine to Google Drive so I can get it on my computer. I don't have Word on my phone. If you have Word on your phone, then great. Um, you can do this pretty easily. You could, if you, um, I have like a Wi-Fi printer, so I could technically print directly from my phone. But what I want to do is I put it in Word. And I just copied it. I just right clicked and copied, copy, paste. And I did it four times so that it will cover up most of the page. And from here, I just print it off. So let's, let's get to printing on our wax paper. Like I said, my, my printer is very temperamental. So, oh look at that, it's gonna go right through. Perfect. Um, so what I did to make this work really well is I I filled up <laughs> my printer with as much paper as I possibly could. I basically like pushed the wax paper up as close as possible to the uh, little roller that pulls it through. So once we take it out of the printer, you want to wait, you know, 30 seconds to make sure that you don't smear it as soon as you put it down on the paper. So you're just going to place it wherever you want it on your um, paper or envelope or whatever you're using. And then you're going to make sure you're going to want to hold it down and make sure that it does not move at all. And you're just going to take your card or your bone folder and you're going to rub it on. You want to give it a pretty good firm push when you do this. My paper's moving. So hopefully this will turn out right. <laughs> okay. Alright. I may have smeared it a little bit on that side. I'm not sure. So let's see how it turned out. Yeah. Didn't like didn't like that very much. Um but essentially, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Um, let's try it on a different sheet. And actually, this one I did last night, so I just wanted to see if leaving it overnight is gonna be a problem or not. And it looks like it might be a bit of a problem. So let's try one of these more wet ones next. We'll try it on this craft envelope. And we'll just stick it somewhere on here and see what happens. So again, you want to make sure it doesn't move. And you're just going to rub it all over the image. So my printer is an inkjet printer. Um, I know I wasn't really sure in the um, repurposed for junk video. But yes, it's an inkjet printer that you have to use to, to make this work. And it looks like you may want to use it while it's still semi-wet. So let's, let's try a piece of fabric next because I really wanted to try to do this. Um, I'm going to try to put this in the center of the fabric as much as possible. I, I, well maybe I'll put it over here. I have a plan for the fabric if this does work, so, uh, so cross your fingers. Let's see how it turned out. And oh, that's pretty cool. So there you go. And it looks like it's printed right on it. Can you see that? There we go. So it did miss a few little spots on here. I don't think I rubbed them hard enough. You might want to try something with a little bit of thicker lines. Um, mine just has, has really thin, dainty lines, but it still looks good. And um, I can still do something with it. All right, so the next thing I wanted to try was this canvas here. Let's try to do one on here and see what happens. All right, 
and there we go. So this one has a bit of a different texture and it kind of makes it look a little bit grainy when you put it on the canvas. Um, so I would probably, I mean, it comes out a lot darker and that's the plus side. I might have actually pushed a little bit more firmly on here. I'm going to try this other one and see if maybe I just need to press down a little bit harder and we're going to try it on this envelope. So let's try it in the little, no, we'll just do it in the middle. Or maybe we'll do it this way. We're just learning together today, guys. I have done this on paper, um, but I've never tried it on all of these other things. All right, so let's try to do this rub on, and I'm gonna just rub it a bit harder because this one I let sit overnight. This kind of shows that my suspicions were correct when we did it with this one. So you probably don't want to leave it overnight like I did. So we're gonna go back to the fresh one that we just printed off. And we're gonna try it one more time. And let's try it on this glassine bag. So you, you, if you don't know what a glassine bag is, um, it is almost like wax paper. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I thought, why not give it a try? All right, so we're just putting that where we want it on the bag. work. So look at that. That probably came out the best out of all of them. I hope you got something out of that. We've learned a little bit together today. And hey guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified of new content. I post a new video at least once a week, so don't miss it. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of video to make in the future. See you next time. Bye!